Hi, my name is Stephen Walther, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create new HTML helpers. Now, what's an HTML helper? An HTML helper is a special method that you can use in a view um, that allows you to render out some HTML content. So you can take advantage of a helper to reduce the amount of work you have to do to um, create an MVC view. Let me show you an example of that. Um, in front of me, I have open a view. Um, this is just a view that renders out you know, a form with a first and a last name um, input um, text box. So if we look at the form, you notice it has an opening you know, form tag. Um, it has a label and an input tag. That's for entering first name. And then it has a label and an input tag for entering a person's last name. So when this view gets rendered out, it looks like this. So pretty you know, standard HTML form. Now, um, if you look at the view, you notice that it's all written just using HTML. I just typed out you know, all the HTML tags. Um, that can get repetitive after a while. I mean, um, HTML is not exactly the most concise way of uh, writing things out. And so what you can do is, if you want to you know, make your life a little easier, is instead of writing out all the HTML tags all the time, you can take advantage of an HTML helper. And all an HTML helper is, it's just a method that renders out a string that you can use in a page so that you don't have to you know, type out all your HTML tags. So let me show you an example of that. Um, right here I have a, um, an input um, tag, and so this you know, writes out a, a text box. Um, if I don't want to type this out, I can go ahead and take advantage of an HTML helper. I'm going to put in a bracket percent equal sign, type in HTML, and there I get a list of all the helpers right here. By typing in HTML dot, you notice that one of the helpers I get is a text box helper. So I'm going to select that, and I'm going to give the name of the text box I want to create. This is going to be first name. And now I've, I've come up with a second way to render this out. So now if I, if I look at the page, I'll get two text boxes in a row. Right? I'm going to get the uh, one rendered out by this HTML helper, and then I'm going to get the original one um, rendered out by the input tag. Let me show you that. Switching back to the form, I'm going to hit refresh, and you'll notice right here, I now have two um, text boxes for the first name. Um, so, um, once again, you know, all an HTML helper does is it just makes life a little easier for you so you don't have to type out all your HTML tags. Um, if you don't want to use HTML helpers, you don't have to, um, but um, using HTML helpers can make your life easier. Okay, now in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own custom HTML helpers. Um, why would you want to do that? Well, there, there's a limited number of HTML helpers that you get with the MVC framework. Um, for example, you know, there's no HTML helper for displaying um, this label tag right here. That's a repetitive thing, right? Every time I create a form field, I need to display a label tag to label the field. Um, it'd be nice to have a helper to do that. Or, you know, more broadly, um, it'd be nice to have some helpers to do things like, you know, show a bulleted list. That would be a good example of what you might want a helper for. Or, uh, you know, showing some database data. Let's say you want to grab some database data and display that database data in an HTML table. Um, there's no you know, sort of built-in helper method for doing that in the MVC framework. So that's another good example of when you would want to create like a custom um, HTML helper. So, so how do you create custom HTML helpers? Well, I'm going, I'm going to describe two ways of doing it. Um, the first method I'm going to describe, I, I call it the easy way. And the easy way to create an HTML helper is to create a class that renders a string. So that's all that's involved. It can be a bb.net or a C-sharp class, and all you do is you create a method on it, render out a string, and then you use that within your view. So that's one method. The second method I'm going to show you is, I'm not going to call it the hard method, because really it's not that hard. I'm just going to call it the uh, slightly less easy way. And uh, the second method, um, instead of you know, just creating a, a class that renders out string, what you do is you create a special type of method called an extension method. Um, so why would you want to use the, uh, you know, this slightly more difficult way? Uh, because if you want your methods to show up on the HTML property of a view when you type like HTML dot, then what you need to do is you need to add extension methods onto something called the HTML helper class. So if you want your extension method, if you want your HTML helper methods to work the same way as a standard Microsoft um, HTML helper methods, then you need to do it using this slightly more difficult way.
But let's let's start with the easy way. In fact, the first thing I want to show you is I want to show you how to create a helper that works just you know that renders out a, a label control that we can um, use in a view, so we don't have to type out that HTML label every time we want to display a label. So I've switched back to Visual Studio, and now I'm ready to go ahead and create my you know label helper method. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just create a you know a class a VB.NET class. Um, called label helper, and I'm just going to have it have one shared function that returns a string that represents an HTML label. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to start by creating a new folder in my project. So I'm going to right click on the on the project node. I'm going to go to add new folder, and I'm going to call the new folder helpers. This is where I'm going to put all my helper methods. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a VB.NET class to this new folder. So I'm going to right click. Um, select add and select class and I'm going to call my label helper um, label helper click add and there's my new vb.net class and as I mentioned before this class is just going to have one public shared um, function in it that's going to return the string for the label now you might be wondering well why why create a shared function the reason for that is you know the, the whole point of creating one of these helpers is to reduce the amount of work you have to do but make it a shared function then I can call it directly without having to instantiate the label helper class first, so it reduces the amount of typing I have to do. So it's just a way to make my life a little easier. So I'm going to create a public shared function. I'm going to name the function label, and this function is going to take two parameters. First, it needs to know the target of the label, you know, what input box this is a label for. So that's just going to be a string parameter. And it also wants to know the, uh, it also needs to know the text that should show in the label. So um, again, that's just going to be a string parameter. And this whole function is going to return a string. So I need to make sure um, that I said that. Okay, so um, this function is really, really easy. All I need to do inside of it is say return string.format. And uh, the string that this is going to return is it's going to look like this. I'm going to say label for. I'm going to use um, single quotes here because that's valid, you know, XHTML, so I can do that. And then this is where I'm going to stick in the text for the label. And now I can just pass those parameters over to the string.format method. And we're done. We've created our, you know, label helper. Let me go ahead and build it just to make sure there's no errors. Oh, great. It's beautiful. So now we're, we're ready to use it. So let me switch back to that view that we created before, and I'm going to change it now so that uh, so I don't use this label anymore. I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of this of this new helper that I've created. Um, now to be able to use any of the you know my own custom helpers, I'm going to have to add an import. So I'm going to go ahead and and do that. And I'm going to import the name of my project. This is called MVC application one and now I can go ahead and use my custom helper right here so I'm going to say bracket percent equal sign I'm going to put in label helper dot label and this is a label for this is going to be for the first name text box and the text here is going to be first name and there we go so now um, I should get two labels in a row right I should get the you know, my new uh, one rendered my, my helper, and I should also get the original one. So um, let's make sure all of this works. Um, I'm going to switch back to the form, hit refresh, and notice that now we have two labels showing up, the original one and now our, you know, our new um, one that we created by creating that um, VB.NET class. So let's take a look at the slightly less easy way of creating a helper method. Now, again, the reason you might want to consider this slightly less easy way is if you want your helper methods to work just like the Microsoft ones, so that you can, you know, within a view type HTML dot and then have your HTML helper appear, um, what you have to do is create something called an extension method. So you create an extension method um, using VB by creating something called a module and in the module you create a function but you have to decorate the function with a special extension attribute 
and that transforms the normal function into an extension method. So you can use uh, extension method to add new functionality to an existing class, to add new methods onto an existing class. So let's see how that works. Um, I'm going to create a a new um, HTML helper method by creating an extension method that, you know, again, renders out a label, um, a label tag. So first thing I need to do is switch back to Visual Studio. I'm going to add a module now. You can't do this with a class, it has to be a module. I'm going to add a module into the helpers folder. So I'm going to select add, new item. I'm going to select code over here. I'm going to select module. And I'm going to go ahead and call my new module label extensions. Click Add, and there's my module. Now you need to be careful to make your module public, or it's not going to work in your view. So I need to do that. Um, the other thing that I need to do is I need to create a public function inside of here, and uh, I'm going to call the label. Um, I'm going to call the function label, and it's going to take those exact same parameters as the as the previous one we created. So first parameter is going to be target as string. Second parameter is going to be text as string and it's going to return a string. Now we have to uh, we have to do some special things here. Right now this is just a function, but we want to turn it into an extension method. To do that, we're going to have to import a special namespace. System.runtime.compilerservices and once we have that um, import in, what we can do is we can use this special attribute, this extension attribute. And we need to do one more thing um, we need to set up this this label function so it knows you know what it's extending. It doesn't right now the function doesn't know um, what class to extend. So the first argument um, that you pass in to the function to an extension method function indicates the class that you want to extend. So um, I'm going to call it helper as HTML helper. There we go. Now this is going to work. Now I can just finish the function. So this is just going to return string dot format. That's going to be target and text. And inside of here, this is where I want to put, my, put out my label tag again. So I'm going to say label, and I want to say four. So that's going to be the target. And then I put in the text. And there we go. So um, I've now built my uh, I've, I've now built my extension method. Now um, you know again, be careful to make everything public here. Well, if you don't make it public, it's not going to work on your view. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and build this and cross my fingers. Let's hope this builds. Yeah, built. And now I can go ahead and use this in my view. So I'm going to go back to my index view. And uh, we have a lot of labels now. So let's clean up these first two labels. And now I should be able to use my new, you know, my new helper method, my new use it right here to label the first name text box. So I should be able to do bracket percent equal sign. And this time I should be able to use um, HTML just like I would for any other um, HTML helper and hit dot. And I should get label. Um, notice it's showing up right here in the IntelliSense. Our extension method is now, you know, part of the uh, HTML helper class. So I can go ahead and say label. I can say what's the label for. This is going to be a label for the uh, first name text box. And for the text, I'm just going to type in first name. And there we go. And uh, now let me go ahead and refresh that page that we created before. So what we get. And it says first name. This says working as a label. If I click on first name, notice that focus goes to the text box. And uh, if we look at the source here, you'll notice that uh, if I scroll down, that here's our here it is right here. Let me scroll it over a little to the right. Um, this is the new. Uh, this is the text that's being rendered out by our extension method. So it's just rendering out some standard HTML text. Okay, so um, in this video, I've talked about um, how to create HTML helper methods. I've explained two different approaches to creating an HTML helper method. I showed you how to do it the easy way by just creating a class that has a, a function in it that renders out a string. That's fine, nothing wrong with doing it the easy way. But if you want to create a HTML helper method that works just like the helper methods in the MVC framework, then what you need to do is create an extension method. Slightly more difficult because you have to remember to you know, create a module and you have to import the right namespace and put in that extension attribute. But once you've done that, 
then you have a way to create you know helper methods that you can call by just typing HTML dot and then they show up. So um, this video, uh, after seeing this video, hopefully um, you'll have some good ideas for new helper methods that you can use in your MVC projects. Thank you.